Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session, we are going to discuss a brief introduction to packages in Oracle. See, basically, I mean, if you are from, uh, if you already know Java or any other programming language, you must be very much familiar with packages. Packages are nothing but uh, they logically group together, you know, related objects or members. Um, but please understand. In Java or other programming languages, packages have a different concept and there the packages construction and the behavior is different. Uh, in Oracle, packages basically group, uh, you know, procedures, functions and uh, types and other database objects together into one single unit. Packages have several advantages like uh, you can have a modular design in your overall database application. For the execution purpose as well, packages provide much more, you know, improvement in the performance. And apart from that, uh, from application management perspective as well, packages are very useful. Now, when I say packages in Oracle are different from packages in Java, I mean to say that in Java, you can create packages first and then you can add or remove classes and interfaces into that. But in Oracle, it is a slightly different thing. Packages in Oracle are created along with the package members. So, objects in the package are called as package members and package and package members both are created at the same time. So, creating package first and then adding members to that, it is not like that. As in case of any other, uh, you know, database object, for package as well in Oracle, you have got the same command that is create uh, object object name like that create package package name. You also have a choice to put create or replace package package name and the rest of the description. So, package creation basically is the two step process. You need to create the package specification first and then you need to create the package body and uh, package specification will include the public members of the package which can be accessed from within outside anywhere in the application. I mean which can be accessed from outside the package also, but of course only within the application. So, those members which you declare in the package specification they are called as uh, public members and those members which you declare within a procedure or function in a package body, you know, those are called as, those are called as local members, they are also called as private members, they cannot be accessed from outside the package. Now, as I told you package creation is a two step process. Uh, it is more like you first create a package specification and then you create the package body. This is more like you know, like a trailer of a cinema and then the full movie, right. So, you need to create the package specification in that you will declare the members which you are going to provide the complete code uh, in the package body and within the package body you need to you know write the complete code for those members which you declared in the package specification. Apart from that, Package also provides function overloading, procedure overloading as well as function and procedure overloading. This is uh, mostly similar to you know method overloading in Java and this way packages also support object oriented programming, although not completely but at least partially. In addition to that, packages also provide a lot of flexibility in terms of you know creating global variables and helping users access certain package members, you know, in a defined way, in an easier way. So, when you think about creating, uh, you know, applications in Oracle uh, using PL SQL, then package is an imminent thing that you need to deal about, that you need to deal with. So, that is a brief about, you know, introduction to the package. In the next video, we shall see how do you completely deal with the package, how do you create it and all the relevant things. Thank you friends. Thank you.